welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Averrosen Allegiance. We got two other meme tier Monday decks to play today. This deck though isn't that meme tier to be honest. It kind of started that way but uh, we were making some changes a little while ago and it's kind of turned into basically like the Ash Sejuani midrange deck but with Averrosen Outriders um, in the middle. So if you're not too um, familiar with this card this is the the uh, Freljord Allegiance card. So that's our Allegiance part. And so we, we're going with Averos and Outriders, Averos and Trapper, Averos and Hearthguard. So you know, we're going with the Averos and Allegiance. And we're going with mostly Freljord. We got 34 Freljord, 6 Noxus, uh, which, you know, that's kind of like the number of, of the other region that a lot of people play in Allegiance decks. Uh, but this card, yeah, if we hit the Our Allegiance trigger, you grant the top ally of your deck plus three, plus three, and Overwhelm. Like, that's huge. So you're getting, um, you know, six, six worth of stats, so like 12 uh, power and health worth of stats, plus both things having Overwhelm across two bodies. Like, it's uh, pretty big. Like, that's pretty awesome for just four mana. Um, so we're going to be going with that, we're, and, you know, that's going to be pumping stuff up. We're going to be going with our Hearthguard and Omen Hawk and just pumping up the stuff in our deck. Now, since uh, the Yoink cards are now the Nab cards, the Nab it takes from the bottom of the library, we don't have to worry about this card granting our ta top ally, and then they Nab it from us. We don't have to worry about that anymore, so that's pretty nice. Um, but yeah, so we're going to be pumping up our stuff, and then we're splashing for Trifarian Assessor to be able to draw a whole bunch of cards. And then splashing for a little bit of removal with two culling strikes and one reckoning. Um, and then we just got a bunch of good Freljord stuff. You know, we got our trappers that can make our enraged yetis. Um, and then we got our frostbite, a bunch of frostbite stuff to go with, with Ash. And uh, Sejuani is just really good. <laughs> so that's, uh, so that's, um, that's what we got. So let's play some Averroes and Allegiance. We're going to be playing this in ranked. We don't always play ranked with meme tier Monday decks. Uh, you know, we us usually don't play ranked, but this this deck seems like it's going to be real good. It's it's real close to the um, Ash said Wani deck, so we're going to play this in ranked. And plus, we're over at Platinum right now because of the rank reset last week. We'll do that one of, one of the next couple of days. We're going to or maybe even just a couple of days this week. We're going to focus on ranking up. Because, <laughs> yeah, we, we need to get back to Masters, so we'll do that. Okay, so we're playing against... I'm going to mulligan all of these. I don't hardly ever mulligan Elixir of Iron. Elixir of Iron is pretty awesome, but we're, we're playing against um, Elusives, and Elusives isn't really... They don't really use removal. They don't really care about being in combat with you that much. They just, you know, care about having their elusive threats kill you before you can do anything about it. And so that's why I mulliganed Elixir of Iron. That's a nice gain to life. Thanks, Panda Knight. Nice, Thorwolf. You saved enough wild cards and shards for five champs. There you go. What do you what do you plan on getting? See the world through new eyes. Defy and resist. Maybe I should just attack with everything. If they want to block with Omen, if they want to block Omen Hawk, we get some six damage across. Alright, question for those of y'all on YouTube. We we also just spent some time dealing with this and talking about this. Um, but basically, I would like to get a new camera. I know the, the picture on my camera is good, but it just keeps on lagging. It's it's always lagging, and I think it's just lag I think that's because it's old. Um I I tried updating the driver and that didn't work. Like, there was no driver to update. Hmm. Alright, good. That hit. The Zed's gonna hurt. Um, uh, but I guess I didn't go to, like, their actual website. I just checked Windows, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna try. It's, I have a Logitech, Logitech C. 
920. Yeah, C920. And so basically, the question is, for those of y'all on YouTube, if you have any I, I, other idea what, what to do, but then besides that, if you have any recommendations on a webcam to get, not anything very expensive. Um, not looking to spend a, a whole bunch of money, but I wouldn't mind getting another webcam because having a second webcam, then I can set up one for the for the dogs. Also, I can have a, a dog cam, and so that would be cool. So any recommendations y'all have on YouTube, you know, feel free to send a link, let me know. Hey, Metal World Gaming, how, how have you been? Are you, are you up to Masters again? Yeah, this is going to be a good Sejuani right here. It's going to have Overwhelm, <laughs> Double Overwhelm. Can you have Double Overwhelm? Is that a thing? So 3-1 should trade with 2-1. I'm likely casting Harsh Winds on their turn. Next turn, like I'll be play I'll play like Harsh Winds and Omen Hawk and then untap and Sejuani. This one's trouble. Um Of course if I set up if I set up the dog cam, I'd have to have a USB expansion, extension cord. And that's what kind of webcam I'd like. It's just like a, a USB webcam. I, I guess I would need a like a mount for it also. That's the end. Everything's better with company. Says you. I can't really set up having um I can't really set up like playing Harsh Winds and then you know having Sejuani plus uh, Fury of the North. I can't really set up that Fury of the North for the next turn. gonna be hard to win. Bow to no one. They had a good hand. Green Blade Duo is a heck of a card. Got them down to five. Still going to be difficult to win. We need to draw some frostbite. Preferably harsh winds. Okay, well, it means we're not immediately dead. Draw another one of those. Nope. Old masks let young eyes see. Mm. Now we're immediately dead.
GG's. What region has the most protection? Yeah, probably, like, uh, I would think Demacia. That would be my pick, would be Demacia. With all their one-mana spells, you know, like Radiant Strike, the Chain Vest, and the Ranger's Resolve. A bunch of stuff like that. Then they have all the barrier cards. Bunch of barrier cards. Probably the most protection. Ice Veil Archer is kind of weird. Like, it's not good against Misfortune, but it's a good card. I don't know. I'm going to try keeping it. so good. Well, we're going to be leveling up Ash pretty quickly. Mm, good turn. right there man what a what a turn one two and three for the opponent turn one omen hawk turn two shared spoils turn three a three three omen hawk and all the world on one and arrow. make it rain always forward no backing down These are our lands. We can maybe get back in there. Hearth, you know, hearth guard, hearth guard, assessor. It could be a lot of card draw. Don't really want to attack with Ash. Uh, we're two away from leveling up Ash. Fight or die. Okay. Ah. Yeah, that is a big Ruthless Raider. Could be okay. Could be okay. This land is ours. I could just play this right now and kill everything except for the 6 4. Just kill those three. Might as well give this a try. They can have like Fury of the North to save something. That'd be that'd be like the worst case scenario for me. Yep. Now they have 14 trample coming at me. Stand and defend. That was the worst case scenario. Show them the way. 
We're playing against um, a Misfortune Sejuani deck that is really focused on... Really focused on pumping up their own stuff. These old eyes still see far and clear. You think you're self defended? Ha! Uh, that was a great card to nab. My third Avaros and Hearth card. Nothing escapes my watch. That was a great card to nab. Pick up ours. There's no, there's no song request. No, there's no. It's not a thing. All right, so we have to harsh winds. I can't play Trifarian Assessor. No prey. Oh no. Uh, this is good. No, I'm just I'm just dead. This misfortune. The scalp. Dang. Yeah, I mean I don't I don't have removal for that. Awesome hand that they had. Like that's again just that was awesome. You know, like it. You just, you know, sometimes your opponents just have it all. Like, that was, uh, the Fury of the North was incredible. Yeah, I mean, GG's. GG's. Yeah, that's a very good RNG. You know, like, yeah, attack being all attack with Omen Hawk turn, turn one. Uh, shared spoils. That was great. The... Uh, turn three, the make it rain to kill both my three ones, and then three three Omen Hawk. You know, it, it just everything went great for them. <laughs> oh well, I think that's a matchup that we'd be. I would. I think that that would be a matchup that we'd be favored in playing most of the time. I think that we'd probably win like sixty five percent of the time, but that's one of the thirty five percent that we lost. That's how it goes. But that's the exact kind of deck that we want to be playing against. All right, Elise Darius. We're gonna mulligan the two six mana cards, keep the three and the one. I have my Great draw. Life's always better when you got Omen Hawk on turn one. Okay, so you're climbing right now with Ash Darius, so why are you playing Darius Darius instead of Sejuani? You know, it could it could be a you know card availability thing. But I don't really know very many ways that Darius is better. Okay, because it's fun. That's that's a that's a perfectly reasonable we go where they warm other way why it's better. No, our Outriders miss. That means we have one of our five other Noxus cards on top. Of course, there's hit. I should be attacking with the 4-4. Four four. I, should, I should have attacked there. Many tribes under one banner. Well met, Outland King. Who goes there? Tread carefully. 
All right, hoping to keep a couple of our other things alive. Bazil Scrider is the real deal now. You know, that's something I talked about whenever this got changed. Four health on that card is amazing. That's exactly what Bow to no one. that card needs. Nothing but Noxian might. It's nice having another Overwhelm thing. That is pretty nice. Harsh Winds is so good. There we go. Alright. On the board. On the board. On the board again. Just can't wait to get on the board again. Now, Brom Freljord. Uh, with, sorry, Brom and Ivia. No, I just have two calling strikes to fit the one. I didn't want to go over six Noxus cards. Could see keep it an Elixir of Iron. But I think without keeping anything that we need to just reset. So far we've won when we've had turn one Omen Hawk and lost when our opponents have had turn one Omen Hawk. They're out there. I'll spot them. What was our first match? Did they play turn one Omen Hawk? Nothing I don't remember where our first match was. Living the dream over there. Dang. I am not so much. Hey, Shreve. <laughs> Trapper, why couldn't I have had you last turn? Decide just to save the mana for like reckoning, then rather than just play the archer. Faster than my arrow? I think not. Yeah, I don't. I don't. I'd rather. Yeah, I don't want them to draw the card. I mean, the the later it is they draw this card, the better for me, right? Like the. If you think about, like, let's say you have access to 10 cards. You can either have, like, the 10 cards on turn turn one moving forward. Or you get one card and you just have all 10 cards to start with. Or you have one card on turn one, a second card on turn two. You know, then you get a third card on turn three. And so then, like, your 10 cards, you gradually get them. Like, what's going to be better? Well, it'd be better if you just had all 10 cards immediately. Because then you can see, then you can... You know, plan out, okay, this is my, I can, 
you know, here's my one drop, here's my two drop, and so on. The earlier you have the cards in your hand, the better. Then you get to make it's that you can curve out the easiest that way. And so yes, while that that two one was going to be dying, it wasn't something that I wanted to happen right away, or um, I wanted it to happen as late as possible. So if we just keep on playing things with five power, it's going to be good against Braum. So not playing that Ice Veil Archer earlier kind of means they don't have anything great to challenge. They get there. You know, they use their spell to get get their mighty poro. Pain is nothing. Could have Braum level up here if they have another Fury of the North. Today we fight as one. They're gonna if they have like vengeance that they want to save Braum, I would rather them kill the Avaros and Hearthguard than the Ash or the Sejuani. So we'll challenge in that route. Enough stalling. Well fought. Okay. So it was vengeance. <laughs> I'll take that. We trade Sejuani for both Vengeance and Braum. That seems like a pretty good trade. Not a bad one. And they may be thinking that Ash is easier to kill. He said that Ash is better and they should have vengeance Ash. They may be thinking that they have other removal spells for Ash. Do I want to assess her now or later? Basically, do I want to go Outrider? I'm not sure. I'll just throw this thing out here. I'm not sure if I want to go Assessor or Outriders. Rude. I guess Assessor. In case of ruination, 
We'll have a full grip. Double Avaros and Sentry. Just get more pressure on them. Yep, second Vengeance down. See the Demostian border from here. So now it's probably about, you know, trappers and outriders. Going with those Avrosen cards up next. So, you know, we could put like enraged yetis at the top of the deck and then give the enraged yeti plus three plus three and overwhelm. And we'll have like a one mana, like you know, eight eight overwhelm. <laughs> that seems kinda silly. Um, hmm, that's not worth reckoning, is it? No, it can't be worth reckoning. We call where the war mother peace. All right, I'm going to play this first, actually. Maybe that's wrong. do this to enemies? That wasn't really my plan. I played him the other the other way, and so we just made a five five yeti. Didn't make the eight eight yeti. I'm silly. I'm silly. Yeah, I would have just made an 8 8. No, I'm not playing Omen Hawk. Hawk dying to Anivia. Need something big enough to take out Anivia.
gonna be tricky. We need like Anivia to die. The card looks good. It's gonna level up Braum. Leave no survivors. We need Anivia to die here and then reckoning away the other Anivia in this Braum. And then also play a 9 9 Overwhelm. Those are two good draw cards to draw. Those are two really good cards to draw. Look how we have I mean, you have to be a little worried about Reckoning, right? Because they could just have two removal spells, kill both of my things, and then Reckoning doesn't doesn't work and it doesn't do anything. So we, we do have to be worried about that with Reckoning. Many tribes under one banner. I wish I could play this 9-9 and play Reckoning and still have Culling Strike as a backup in case something happens. But... Now it's it's gonna be real hard for them to kill all of these things. So we rekindler being a five-five. Oh, I guess I guess I could have crystal arrowed the rekindler first. I don't really consider that. Crystal arrow first. We're not really running out of gas. This draws a card. This should draw a bunch of cards. A new era begins. Uh, you're a four-four. I need you to be. I need you to have five power there, Hawk. I need you to have five power. So draw three. Hmm. Like, the thing is, like, what if I? Yeah, I mean. Only the finest serve. I think getting the draw in before ruination is good. Those, those are not the best draws. Those are not the best draws.
I don't want to risk it too much in the face of ruination. Today we fight as one. Don't want to risk it too much. And that's like as far as like crystal arrowing. I was hoping they would block those the other way where I could culling strike the Anivia and then have my 9 9 overwhelm through. Um, I could still. Oh, that worked out really well for them. That worked out really well. Um, so they're going to gain three life, so they go to 11. They're taking two from Omenhawk. So I could still kill this thing. So we go... Flash freeze that, calling strike. And now that should be exactly 11. Exactly lethal with the 9-9 overwhelm. They need like a vile feast to finish off this omen hawk to stay alive. There we go, GG. Two and two. Exact lethal. <laughs> you hate the box? Box is a good card. I think it's uh I think it's a great one of. I don't I don't think you really need to play more than that. But I think it's a great one of. This deck feels pretty powerful. Like both of our losses were games where our opponents had amazing hands. I was gonna say it's possible I should be keeping the Avaros and Trapper as just a as like a as like a floor of like how bad our hand could be is like we at least have turn three Avaros and Trapper. Uh, but that could could definitely be too slow for this matchup. Come on, Vaughn. Yep, you can get that. Oh, you didn't get it? Next time. You'll get it next time. Ugh. Fourth game in a row with turn one Omen Hawk. We've only been... We've only had the turn one Omen Hawk once. Our opponents have had the turn one Omen Hawk the other three games. I don't remember... I don't remember game one if they had... If there was a turn one Omen Hawk. I don't remember. This doesn't doesn't look good for us right now. But thankfully the, the game's not first one to eighteen. Bone showing off. We have to spend three mana before we can get a 3 3. Bastard that was a good draw. We really had nothing. <laughs> we had nothing going on. Dang. 
Well, we got to attack. Say your farewells. I'm gonna let that die. Because my plan is reckoning anyway, which will kill the 3-3 anyway, so I'm not going to try to uh, try to save it. I hope they play like Misfortune. Just don't just don't have Fury of the North. Always forward. Mm. That's just a whole lot of damage. These are our lands. It's just a whole lot of damage we're staring at. Oh, come on. Well, that didn't go too well. Double Fury of the North. Could definitely mean um, make it rain. Let's make it rain. Does make my uh, reckoning look kind of silly. Right to call themselves Trifarian. Don't ask where it's from. Ask how much. Yeah, that double fury of the north was pretty rough. That was a rough turn for me. Probably not as rough as this turn, though. Stole three of my awesome cards. And now they're in the driver's seat with an additional card. We're plundered by the pirates. <laughs> Those plundering pirates. Stole all our cool stuff. High five. Have anything spectacular to play. Hey, Nakano, I'm doing good. Only the strong survive. Carved from the savage cold. Well, that's the best possible card to have. All right, so I'm not going to be able to play Reckoning. So that means we're going to play Many Harsh times. Wind. So I'll One just play this thing. Yard. We have to play Harsh Winds. It won't be like first. Get up and claw. It's gonna be our second loss to Stand and Fight. Sejuani Misfortune. This last time was it Miss was it Sejuani? It was Misfortune, but I don't remember if it was Sejuani or not. Let's see what you've got. No, that doesn't matter. This is going to be frostbitten from this cutthroat. 
anyway. See the Debastian border from here. How do I kill this Sejuani? like one of my cards. Safeguard our homes. They should still have, they have two others of mine out of those four. That's the first one that's mine. So if this works, I mean, they, they could have Warning Shot. They may be thinking about playing Warning Shot. Oh, wow. Harsh wins. Okay. I was going to say, if that if that worked, then we would be able to Brittle Steal the Sejuani and go, like, Brittle Steal Reckoning. And that would have been really nice. One more of my cards. But I only have one harsh wins left in the deck. Trapper just made that last turn, and it was just the top card, and then Omen Hawk gave it plus one, plus one. That's not great. <laughs> yeah, yeah drawn turn nine, Omen Hawk. Uh, yeah, I mean, these losses are just my opponents have turn one, Omen Hawks. I have turn nine, Omen Hawks. It's not going to be good for us. Well, both of those losses to the those two misfortune decks, I don't think that that's. I really don't think that those are bad matchups, but I think that our hands were like the bottom you know, 30% of hands that we could have, and our opponent had, you know, the top, you know, 20, 30%, you know, probably top 20% each time, and so, you know, we just lost games and it didn't really look that close, but I mean, I think that's just kind of what it was, like, I, I just don't think, I think that just the, you know, the median games um, are going to be favoring us in those kind of matchups like i think we have a, a lot of good tools for those matchups and that we're, we're just going bigger than them normally but both of those times uh our hands were quite poor thus playing like turn three trapper for our first thing and their hands were quite good with you know like omen hawk double jagged butcher double fury of the north you know that kind of stuff um, but 
yeah, so Averroes and Outriders uh, looked good and bad. The the good part is the the threat you get with Averroes and Outriders, the next card that you that you're uh, granting plus three plus three and overwhelm is incredible. You get something that's really big. And you know has overwhelm like we saw that with like having the nine nine overwhelm Averroes and Hearthguard. I mean that's just kind of insane. Uh, and everything. The bad thing about it is that it is still a three three. And that three three, um, it's hard to hard to get great to value that three three. And we did draw our one of reckoning a whole lot, and that three three um, was a little messy with reckoning because you know it, it just kind of got or could get cleared away by our own reckoning. Mobius, thanks to the tier one sub. Thank you so much, there, Mobius. Yeah, the the double fear, the double fury of the north. That was uh, we were already behind, but then having double fury of the north when when you're ahead, I mean that's just the dream, you know, being ahead and then having double fury of the north. Our opponents were living the dreams there, um, but yeah, I think this is good. You know, definitely a good deck. You know, I think I actually think that like just kind of like normal Ash, I think Ash Sejuani like this kind of stuff is actually pretty well positioned right now. <clears throat> with a lot of other people playing uh some like noxus aggro where frostbite is really good um yeah i just i think this kind of deck's actually really well positioned we just you know ended up winning two of our five games because uh that's how that's how variance is uh, but i i wouldn't have been surprised if we would have played all five of those back and gone five and oh 100 percent honest those are all matchups that seemed uh very winnable um so yeah, if you're playing this later on, uh, give you know, let me know how it goes for you. Give it a try, and uh, yeah, let me know how you like Averroes and Outriders. If if the Outriders does seem to be um, a good payoff for for staying, so Freljord getting um, you know six six worth of stats and two overwhelms for for four mana. Um, but anyway, that's it here for Averroes and Allegiance. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.